Hi, my name is Dan Kim. I am the founder of Red Mango. We are here at Red Mango's corporate headquarters in Dallas, Texas. Red Mango is a leading national brand of all natural frozen yogurt and fresh fruit smoothies. The Red Mango culture is based on uh, openness and honesty. And if you apply that to yogurt and smoothies, it means making those products in a way that we can feel good about. Our culture of openness has appealed a lot to the online generation. The reason why we wanted to connect with the digital demographics is because we knew that those who were interested in our frozen yogurt and our smoothies and those who cared about their health were of an age that uh, believed in social media as the most important way to connect and communicate with people. Before we opened our first store, we went on to the social spaces and created a personality for our brand. We just wanted to create a presence in those social channels so that people knew we were there. We can gauge their interest in our products and so forth. And the fact that we did that proactively and was able to really uh, create social digital relationships early on, it really helped us uh, become a leader in, in the social media space. You know, we, we don't just um, stop at customers coming in and making a purchase. We find it even more important to maintain an active relationship with them even after they leave the store. And the best way that we've found to do that is by uh, creating a uh, loyalty program. So our loyalty program that we implemented back in 2007 was all digital. We had no paper cards, nothing to punch out. We had uh, Mag Stripe cards, and we asked them to register this online or on their phone using their email address, uh, their phone number, and even their Facebook profile. We also have a mobile app that we've developed that allows uh, customers to enroll into and use our loyalty program. That's actually become the most popular method that our customers are starting to engage with us. When customers come into our store, we obviously want to give them a great, enriching, awesome, fun experience. But we also know that being connected with brands through technology is equally as important for the majority of our customers. The way we try to connect with our customers and encourage them once they're inside of our store is by giving them uh, uh, cues and calls to action to do things that uh, allow them to share their in-store experience in, with the digital world. We actively uh, encourage them to Instagram their products and their friends, to hashtag them uh, in terms that allow us to search for them later, and uh, celebrate it as if it's a totally cool, uh, acceptable thing to do. But once the customers leave the store, we need to continue that relevancy and that, in, that, 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 that personality uh, through other touch points we have outside of the store. Uh, for us, we don't do a lot of advertising through traditional media channels. Rather, our uh, touch points outside of the store are almost exclusively uh, through our loyalty program, which is primarily email-based, but more importantly and more uh, prevalently uh, through social spaces like Facebook, uh, Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter. The top three tech things that I believe uh, are going to be really, really relevant for the restaurant industry are as follows. Number one is mobile. The reason why restaurant companies need to value mobile more than anybody else in business is because restaurants typically only could connect with their customers once they were inside of their store. With mobile devices, we can now connect with customers through their phone and maintain active dialogue. Number two is somewhat related to mobile, um, but it's more location-based marketing or advertising. One of the things that we're doing is a couponing technology that only shows up on users' phones or smartphones if they're within a certain mile radius of one of our stores. That coupon that's delivered using their location becomes a lot more relevant and will probably have a higher redemption rate than one they receive in their email box during work hours. Number three is closing the loop with the customer. Now that most coupons and offers are distributed via mobile, that single device has become the key to closing that loop and all we need to do is connect that device with the POS system and you will know everything about the customer that you need to know in terms of offers and marketing efforts. This is uh, Dan Kim again, uh, signing out from Dallas, Texas. Appreciate you taking the time to hang out with me 
and I hope to see you in one of my stores.